pretty much Dinosaur George did not do a good job explaining of Pachyrhinosaurus, you know, having a horn. I understand that there are some JFC fan JFC fanboys that are going to disagree with this, but that's fine. Pachyrhinosaurus did not have a horn, it had a bump. You know? So, George really, really is a fanboy. And I hate to say this, and I don't want to disrespect him, but it's the God on this truth. He... He just loves to hire up these animals to make them as not actual animals. Hmm. Yep, in a nutshell. To be honest, a bit off topic, but who's... Uh, I feel like that even Jack Horner is even a better paleontologist than George because with Jack Horner you know he comes up with like hypotheses George on the other hand comes up with his fanboyism you could say if anything I would deal with Jack Horner now better than the fanboy George yeah I mean don't get me wrong I did buy some fossil replicas from him don't get me wrong on that but I'm just saying that you know he's kind of a fanboy and he gets animals wrong like homotherium you know homotherium was not the size of a leopard homotherium was actually way bigger than that it's actually the size of a modern lion <sighs> bit off topic again but still like Like I said before, I blame him and the producers or writers who did Jurassic Fight Club. 